Good afternoon and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. Actually, good evening. As you come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay on this evening. I know that I am. I decided to just flood y'all with videos since I'm not going to go live. And I and then I might mess around and go live because I've had a, a free day today. Okay. So I grilled and did some things around my house. And um, but you know, it's back to it's back to normal tomorrow, okay? I walked around and we, you know, no, I won't talk about that, okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, as you come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Y'all, we have our first meeting tomorrow with our book club. I am so excited. And that's what I am going to sit here and do, put a agenda together. Remy, don't take my moment, okay? Don't take my moment. Let me be excited about my book club, okay? I am going to sit here and put a agenda together for our book club, y'all. I'm so excited. I just know God is going to bless that book club and everyone that joins. It's going to be a blessing just with the ideas that I have. God is great. I've been getting miracles in the threes this week. Them prayers work, okay? I'm telling you, they work. You know, we all go through stuff. And, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's private. Sometimes it's not, you know. Um, but we all go through the same things and I just know that prayer works and God has been proven that he is God because I got miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle and God told me he ain't through. Okay. In the midst of it all. So, um, yeah, I just had to, I had to put that into the atmosphere to inspire because God is a awesome God. Okay. If you would like to, to support the channel, you can definitely support the channel via Cash App. Okay, shout out to all the people that support the channel uh, via uh, Cash App. I want you guys to know that I appreciate you so much, what you do for this channel, but definitely get a membership. Okay, I would appreciate that so much. Okay, I wanted to talk about um, Kenny Money releasing like a a movie, a video movie. He said he does not, he don't put out videos. He put out movies and you could tell just from what they've been putting out and things of that nature. They they're in their feelings. I, we all been paying attention to this young doll situation as it comes to uh, a close. Okay. And as more things start to come out, I think sometimes it may seem like that it, it is at a standstill, but as I've always said before, you know, um, the feds go underground, okay? And then when they come up, it's like a kaboom, right? Um, and that is what has really been happening from day one, i.e. they got over 200,000 pages. I'm sure they got over 300,000 now, okay? Um, but you've started, Young Dolph's artist was very quiet early on. Um, they was very quiet. And I'm sure that was... Um, encouraged um by um maybe young doll's family um some of the people within young doll's family that was around them told them to be quiet especially in the beginning as the police did their investigation um i believe that they always had a, a feeling or knew who was behind it because the people that was behind it never hid it they got the nerve to get mad at the vloggers, but hell, they were the ones that put that into the atmosphere. Then, um, you know, somebody got into my chat saying that, you know, some of these people were being paid to um, troll other people, to threaten people. That is how they was able to trace a lot of affiliations as it relates to um the Young Dolph's case. I think people are so, some of these folks so dumb. I'm not going to get into that because I, I, I don't want to put too much into the atmosphere because a lot of stuff that people do, they have to be caught, right? Um, you start putting too much into the atmosphere, they try to get slicker. Okay. And it's just time for justice to be served. But Young Dolph's artist was very quiet and People was calling them weak and things of that nature. And I think that they, a lot of people felt like that 
when they were, you know, first of all, when your boss is assassinated like that, it kind of throws you off balance because what happened to young doc was very random, right? It was very, very random, just a regular day. And he walked into the cookie shop. Um, and on an ordinary day, and he walked into a cookie shop and then a bunch of hoods pull up and assassinate him. Um, it was very barbaric, extremely heinous in nature, and it just messed up. And I think that is why it has, because we serve a, 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 a God that is just, what God did was allow a lot of people to um, become extremely interested in this young dog's case all over the world, right? I know some people feel like it's just my meal ticket, even though um, those people that have been paid by the people that did this to try and and um, to try and um, what's the word that I'm looking for to create a narrative, um, a, a narrative that they know is untrue. I, I keep hearing in my spirit, God's word says, you meant it for bad, but I meant it for my good. Because what happens is it kept rather, they, they knew that the narratives was a bunch of bullshit. But what it did was it kept Young Dolph's name out there. So even though they meant it for bad, it was for money. It was to try and throw the public off, which you couldn't throw in. As I always said, no matter what was put out there on the vlogs, it was not going to change the nature or the texture of the case. Right. Because no vlogger or anybody else uh, could ever change that as it relates to an investigation. Right. And so what happened was it kept people because people were interested. Everybody kept talking about Young Doll, kept putting his name into the atmosphere. And I know from working for police departments forever, uh, if you keep it out there and they know that you're watching, the prosecutors know that you're watching the federal agents know that you're watching. It makes them want to uh, work harder and solve their case, right? I, I, I think that's why, um, you know, um, so many people were sending out, you know, threats, getting these dummies to send out threats. But what it did was it helped the federal agents um, because for, for some reason, anything, any threat that is affiliated with this young dog's case, they jump right on it to try to see where the connection is coming from and you can't hide it, okay? You can't hide your location as it relates to that, right? And so, um, and so that's what happened, right? And so in the midst of it, young dog's artists were accused, you know, of, of being involved when I knew that they were were not involved. And it's weird because I can't understand how people get mad at you for having your own mind. Um, one of the reasons that young Dolph was assassinated was because he had his own mind. And see, the Bible says that um, you'll know a tree by the fruit that it bears, right? And so with a lot of these people, you look at the people that assassinated young doll okay and that is uh people you know that we've heard or people claim that is um in uh, involved with the assassination of young doll and some of these folks that they've put out to try to change the narrative like in spirits right okay so um but anyways his artists were um okay his artists were very quiet Okay, they were very quiet. And then they just started, you know, uh, hey, God started, God will give you the energy. He'll give God will give you a burst of energy. I think people thought that they were gonna fall off. All young Dolph is dead. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna get ready to get no money. It came from a place of jealousy with a lot of people. Jealousy is as deadly as the grave that is in the Bible. Okay, so you have to be very meticulous about that because anything, any deed that is birthed out of jealousy will backfire in your face. Okay, it's going to backfire in your face. Okay, so they thought that that you know, but then Key Glock, okay, who was a target, anyways, he started going up in in the midst. That's when you know you got God on your side. In the midst of all the lies, he kept going up. They could, they still couldn't hold him down. That's when you know that's a supernatural thing. And people get mad at that. How he keep going up? I, 
I had did this. We going to catch that nigga. And God said, I expose you because the king, you're not going to take that one out. I, I am the God over the heavens and the earth, not somebody in their money that I have helped to attain money. Because, see, I could take it back. Even if the devil gave it to him, I could take it back because the devil can't give it to you unless God gives you permission. Right? Just like Job in the Bible, God had to give permission, right? And so um, God had continuously allowed them to continuously steady move on up. Okay, young Doc been spinning in the spiritual realm, okay, along with God. And so Kenny Money, who I, I you know, was really the underdog on the on the um on the label. He was really the underdog. Um just all of a sudden, I mean, he was he was somebody had mentioned him, you know, early, early on. I had not heard of him. And it was like Kenny Money, you know, is a hard artist. And he was still making momentum. He still had a, a fan base. When it's your time, how many people know when it's your time? A devil in hell can't stop it. It is for an appointed time. Write the vision down and make it plain. It is for an appointed time. Although the vision may tarry, it will surely come if it be God's will. When it's your time, it's just your time. And that's why I can't understand why people get jealous, right? Everything is for an appointed time and it is his time. Okay. And so now what Kenny Money did was he stayed the course. He worked hard. God allowed him. Um, now, you know, people know him, his, his face. They know him on the, he ain't got to introduce himself. Okay. He can walk into a room and people recognize him at this point. Right. And so um, I, I was looking at Remy. Stop. I'm not playing with you. I was looking at his um, Instagram, right? And um, he was showing um, a video. And I think because a lot of stuff is coming out now, they are in their feelings. And they should be. I knew that this would happen. I said this. I said, when more stuff starts to come out, um, they're going to have to relive what happened almost two years ago all over again. And they are definitely in their feelings as they should be right? They should be in their feelings. I think they've been quiet. You know, when you're quiet, people think you're weak. People think you're weak when you're in your, your, um, when you're quiet. Okay. But I want to show you guys this. I hope I don't get a strike for, for playing his Okay. Now it's a nice little song. Okay. He says right back edit A O double G video. I don't know what that means. Y'all know I'm I don't I'm sure y'all know what that means. Um video out now, link in bio time ticking around this MF, you niggas. But other than that, what's next? I told y'all I ain't letting up, okay. Y'all, it seems like it's some real heat going on. You know, I know these young men are making music and things in their nature, but I want them to be very careful because they do have a lot of talent. And I understand that they are hurt about what happened to young Dolph. I see in the video, he's kind of recreating 
some stuff. He's standing in front of that house, that straight dropping that we're standing in front of when they did that video. Okay. You remember they said claimed that that was Young Doll's house in the beginning. I see they standing out there as if they waiting for some people. You know, they were showing the vehicle that came from away from that. That's that house that the vehicle was parked in the back of. As y'all can see that. Uh, I don't want to get struck, so I'm going to just leave the music off. Okay, y'all see, I, I don't know how to pause it. Yeah, that's that house. It's definitely that house. He said, that's that house of the nigga that killed off in the beginning of the video, ain't it? Yeah, that's the house. That's what somebody said in the comments. So they're saying that they shot a video over there or whatever. You know, in Orange Mound. That's in Orange Mound. And he just shot that video. Okay. So I think there's a lot of emotion in the atmosphere. And of course, that was a video for entertainment purposes only, I'm sure, you know. Um, but um, there's a lot of emotions going on. And you could see the subliminals and things of that nature. And um, I'm talking about from other people. I'm talking about from, I guess they would call the other side um, when they're playing the music and stuff. But Stuff is starting to come out about what happened to Young Dolph. Um, now they are getting um, some surety about some things, especially with people starting to talk. Because, as I said before, the the investigators are in contact with Young Dolph's family. And you even heard the district attorney say that whenever they make a deal or something like that, they are they get in, are in contact with Young Dolph's family and. Um, Young Dolph's family has they're gonna ride with them, said they're gonna ride with them the whole way, and they are in agreement. They explain to them, they talk to them, and they are okay with what has happened. I mean, I mean with what they're doing. It appears to me that the DA has their case tied up. The DA can't lose. It's number one, MPD. You know, they got their special forces out there, you know. Um, and then they're working with the FBI. OK, I, I believe that MPD, um, the investigators that they have is dedicated and, and and does a good job. But I don't know if they would have been able to get over 200,000. It's probably at 300,000 now pages of evidence if it wasn't for the FBI. But then again, I don't know, because the folks got on it on, on the Internet and told on themselves they subpoenaed a whole lot of Instagrams. I don't care how they deleted them. And I hope the folks that's, that that own Instagram ain't dumb enough to be de deleting no hard copies or nothing. Because um, if I was Doss family, I'd sue the pants off of them. And they ought to be looking at some criminal charges. Because from my understanding, um, you have to keep that on file, the hard copies on file on social media, even after you delete stuff, even with cell phones and things of that nature. You have to keep a hard copy for at least seven to eight years, okay? Young Dolph has only been dead for almost two years. It's still like a year and a half. But yeah, it looks to me like, um, you know, they're letting them know we know and, you know, we want some get back. But I want them to get their get back through their music and stuff, you know? I, I understand, trust me, I do when somebody kills someone that you care about that was just trying to help people to eat and then get on social media and laugh about it as if they was going to get away with it, right? And now that they know for a fact who was involved, have more information about what happened, of course it makes them mad. And when it's all said and done, it was absolutely senseless, okay? So... Anyways, that's something to watch out for. Grove Hero had posted something on Kenny Money's um thing. Hold on, let me let me uh um hold on, I'm looking at his story. <clears throat> he says, I can't run out of this shit. Then he says, This my shit. 
I couldn't hold this motherfucker. Go run this up right now. Um, hit the link on YouTube. Uh, Grove Hero says, Kenny Money, pain in my heart for anybody that hurt people and take people away from their families for money or for any reason. All of them got to go. And that's what Grove Hero said. Um, yeah, they, they know a lot more than what the public knows. Okay. That's the house right there. He went and shot a video over there. They know a lot more than what the public knows. Right. Um, yeah, they know a whole lot more and I'm sure Grove Hero is saying all of them got to go. I'm, I'm sure he's talking about, maybe he's talking about jail, talking about all of them got to go to jail, everybody that was involved. And I think that's on the right, you know, when you want to. Uh, take somebody away from their family just because you mad at them or for some money. Okay. Those are the consequences. And that's what these dudes need to understand. They need to get, get, stop snouting pot powder and taking fentanyl and get off the damn meth and stop doing anything for some money because all they're doing once they sober up in jail, all they're doing is, is, um, 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 messing their lives up. You know, you're not going to go to jail and live like a damn king. Okay. Um, that's that's what they try to tell you. you you're not going to go to jail and um, for killing some for killing somebody and live and get a phone like straight drop. OK, you're just going to be a regular old Joe. OK, and straight drop got caught with some of these people with it. Yeah, I go to jail near like King. I'm give me a cell phone. Your ugly ass ain't going to get no damn cell phone. You're going to rot in jail and you're going to go to the death chamber. OK, just because you want to take somebody away from their family for some dimes and nickels. You ultimately hurt your own family because in the end, ain't nobody going to be studying you with but your mama. And a lot of these boys is helping to send their mamas and grandmamas to an early grave for the stuff that they're doing out in the street because it is them that has to suffer knowing that their child will never see the light of day again or they going they on death row because that's what's gonna happen. Them dudes that you did it for, they don't they don't want to touch it with a 10 foot foot pole, especially after that trial is over. They just they just mess with you long enough to make sure you ain't gonna tell on them. That's it. Then they through with you. So I think people need to think about that. But shout out to Ken and Money and them. I'm 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 glad to see that they're making music and things of that nature and and um constantly making money. And that's what Young Doc would have wanted. I'm sure that video was for entertainment purposes only, okay? And nobody got a right to take nobody's life because he went straight drop when and did a video in front of that house. How come he can't do it? Okay. He can do it too, right? But anyways, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. If you, if you would like to support the channel, you could definitely support the channel via Cash App. I want you guys to know that I love you. I'll talk with you later.